Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Redis on Ubuntu. This will actually also work for Debian operating systems. And we're not only gonna learn how to install it, but we're also going to go under the hood and understand how Redis works at a caching level of key value pairs. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Um, I do have a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04. And the first thing we wanna do is to install Redis. So we can do that with apt install redis-server. And this won't take too long. It's only 4,000 kilobytes in size. And when it's actually done installing, it'll start itself up and begin running in the background. And we can check that status with um, system CTL status Redis. And you'll see that it is active and running. And it is running on uh, IP address, the localhost 127.0.0.1. And it is running on the default port of 6379. So let's go ahead and um, understand what Redis is at its core, like I mentioned with the key value pairs. And we can do that with a Redis CLI interface, which is command line interface. And that opens up uh, like a, a, another terminal into just interacting with Redis. So we can execute Redis commands now at this point. So a good like first um, command just to test the connectivity of Redis is the ping command. And as long as you get back Pong, uh, you know that you have that connection, which is established and working. So um, let's talk about the key value pairs now. Um, caching at its core is just getting a value and, uh, or sorry, having a key and associating a value with that key. So um, instead of, you know, in the case of say a website, you have uh, a page, right? And you have the content of the page. So the page is called the about page and the uh, content of the about page is the value. So whenever you want to get the about page to your user, you just look up the about key and return the content of that page and then return it to the user. And that way you don't have to dynamically generate that page every single time. So that's just a very basic idea about how this, this caching works. Let's go ahead and mess around with it on the command line. So um, in order to set a key and a value, we can use the set command to do that. So set, and it kind of helps you here, key value expiration. So we'll just do um, a key called Tony in a value called teaches tech. And we won't give it an expiration at this point. We'll just set that and it'll be in the, the cache forever. So set Tony teaches tech. And then if we wanna get the value of Tony, we can do that and it'll return teaches tech. Now, um, the cool thing about this is if we get out of the, the command line interface for Redis, and if we do something like system CTL restart Redis, we're restarting the Redis service um, and come back in and get Tony again, you'll see that that value is still in there. So this is like a persistent permanent storage that's not going anywhere unless we explicitly delete it. Let's try one with a timeout or an expiration. So we can do something like set, uh, sorry, set X, which is a, a shorthand way of doing the expiration. So key seconds and value. So the key, for this, we can do hello. <clears throat> we want it to exist for, let's just say five seconds, and the value could be world. So if we right away just go ahead and get hello, we'll get that back, get hello again, we'll get that back. I think we'll be past the five seconds. So if we get hello the third time, uh, we get nil back, which is like nothing. There is no value associated with hello anymore because it expired and it got rid of that, that, um, that value for the key. Um, Something else we can do is we can list all the keys that is um, that are associated with the, the Redis server at this point. And so, but before we do that, let's just add a couple more keys just so we have a bigger list. So let's do um, set teaches, and then the value could be tech, set apple, the value could be banana, you know, something like that. And then if we wanna get all the keys, we can simply type keys and then a pattern, it wants a pattern. If you just want all the keys, you can do star, okay? And that'll say, we got teaches, we got Tony, we got Apple. Um, if we want all keys with the letter A in it, so we can do keys, 
Uh, we can do star star for the wild card a wild card. So if you see here, we got an A here in teaches and an A in Apple. So we should see those two values return and we do. So um, to get out of here, you can hit exit. That should give you an idea about how uh, Redis works at a, a fundamental core level. Um, if you wanna learn how to implement Redis in a more practical sense, for example, like in a WordPress website, I have this video which will show you exactly how to do that. Um, and otherwise, there's a whole bunch of other videos on my channel that I think you should check out as far as caching, also memcached and nginx caching, all that stuff. So um, if you got any value out of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.